Hello, Xavier here, and welcome back to another episode of Octopath Travelers, and today, we're on episode 2, it's, it's been a while since I've recorded, but I want to get back into Octopath, so let's just jump right into it and head to the right here. Uh, it looks like we're gonna be following the story, of course, so I think we're going back to our shop is what's gonna happen, right? So back in here. In, in, in there, thank you. <laughs> Alright. Oh, cool, I actually have to walk back again. Okay, so I'm reading the book. It's a book. Within that book were the records of a traveler, one who just oh god, one who had journeyed to the far ends of the realm, spellbound, Tressa, forgot time, and read every one of his adventures. This world is brimming with treasures. And I know what I'm searching for is out there somewhere. So I'll set sail for the horizon. And the great big world beyond. That settles it. It's time I see the world! What? I'm going to leave Rippletide and become a traveling merchant. I'll see the world and have customers from every corner of the realm. Oh, Mom. Just think about what you're saying, dear. Traveling merchant? I won't have any. You're not even a stationary merchant yet. You need at least two more years of stocking the store, and three years of working the shop front. <laughs> wow, that's, that's actually a lot of uh, years there, huh? That's five years before you're ready to go anywhere. Sorry, Pa. My mind's made up. Besides, I'll get all kinds of training on the road. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. There's no point in trying to stop you now, Tressa. You have my blessing. Oh, darling! This is our little girl you're talking about! <laughs> I know. But I had a feeling this day would come. She is her father's daughter. In the end, being a good merchant boils down to experience. That's just what you'll find out there. Go and see the world, Tressa, until your heart's content. I understand, but I can't help but worry, Tressa. Do take care of yourself out there, won't you? Be strong, and may the sacred flame light your path. Mm, thanks, Ma. Thanks, Pa. And I'm sorry for leaving. But I'll come back one day, and you'll see just how much I've learned. We wouldn't know what to do if you didn't. <laughs> After all, you're our number one employee. <laughs> Bye, Ma. Bye, Pa. And so our journey starts. Head east of town. All right, we're leaving Ripple Tide. The adventure begins. This journal? The author only filled half the pages. The other half is still blank. Guess I'll just have to pick up where he left off. Clever girl. I'll write down everything. I won't leave any stone unturned. From the next chapter on, 
This will be my story. All right. I'll travel far and wide, and journey on until every last page is filled. I don't know what lies beyond the horizon. But there's only one way to find out. See ya, Ripple Tide. And so we shall depart from Ripple Town. Okay, she 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 said what I said. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Before you continue your journey across Ostera, there are seven others who await you. Why not venture out and find them? Together you can defeat even the greatest foes. Oh, cool. So, you'll find the other players you can play as. That's cool. Alright, so let us... Oh. The monster came out of nowhere and it got me in the leg. I can hardly put any weight on it. I hate to be a bother, but do you have a healing grape to spare? Yes, but first I'm going to save right here. I'm going to save that. Save successful. Okay, so I just moved locations real quick. So it might sound a bit different, but it should still work out. Now... Let's talk to this lady here. Okay, yeah, we already talked to her. Um, yes. Phew, it feels good to be back on my feet. I can't thank you enough. I've have been done for if you. I, I, look, I'd have been done if you hadn't come along. My name is Kit. I'm a journey. I'm on a journey to find my father. He disappeared when I was ju just young. Are you on a journey too? Perhaps our paths too will cross again someday. Be safe and may your travels bring you all that you seek. There are people who need your help all across Ostera. Oh, God. Ostera. Okay. There may be more than one way for you to solve your problems. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, you obtain a thousand five hundred. Cool, that's cool. Alright, so I'm guessing this is all in, in outside, yeah? Chapter one. Oh. Okay, so it looks like in the area that I'm in right now, it looks like. Okay, uh, it looks like. The closest adventures are. Oh well. Are all these right here? These three. I I I'm playing this one. Whoa. Press a level twenty-two. All over there, and then. It looks like I I can encounter the other one. So. Just for the heck of it, I think I might just go north for, well, there's a Philia here, so that, if, maybe if we go north to Atlas Den, we'll see Cyrus, so maybe we can head north, but I'm not sure. Uh, so, I guess we'll head north, but first I kind of want to heal. Uh, I wonder if I can heal in town. Let's go back in town and check if we can actually heal real quick. Um, so hopefully that's the thing. If not, I think I'll just heal through level up or through uh, healing potions and stuff like that. Healing. So uh, let, let's go back inside the house and see if the bed acts as a healing. Nope. Uh, how about this? Nope. Okay. Okay, so it looks like she is this person right here. So let me help. So why? 
purchase stuff from her and plate shields to death. Ooh. Okay, uh, why can't he seem to understand? The same summer fool has proposed to me ten times over, you see. Every time I turn him down and every time he runs home crying all the way. What woman in her mind would want to marry such a spineless and fragile man? Not me, that's for sure. So begin to tell of this. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Uh, the, the, the journal. Main story. Beyond the horizon. Uh, half, half the notes. The book is empty. Uh, the notebook is a diary of a man who travels the world reading his adventures. Mysterious notebook. Neon tells Chinya. Okay, so this is all stuff that has happened, so. Looks like. I wonder, is there like a. So I need a setting status. Uh, status. Okay, so you have a good amount of HP. Uh, your physical defense. Good. Yeah. Where's your elemental defense? Oh, there it is. So 91. So like, it looks like she's an all-arounder type. So I guess we'll just head east and then just go from there. Um, don't want to waste any more time. So let's head to the right and just see if we can go north to see if we can find Cyrus. So uh, let's let's head north this way. North, north we shall go. Oh, is this a battle? Yep, it is. Okay, cool. So let's see. It's my turn, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna use this. Of course, it's usable and overall to that. Overall, and I'm gonna do attack times three. Strong shot. Okay, I, we got this in the bag. This shouldn't be too hard. There you go. That's right. I'm in level 6. Well, I'm almost level 8. Which is I'm in level, <laughs> level 7. Which is good because I can heal. North Ripple Tide Coast. Here we go. Coastline now. Danger level, level 1. Not that hard, which is good. And look at that. There's a chest over there. Oh my god. There's a chest over there. The cave it is, but I can't go in it. Okay, I guess it looks like I'm gonna have to go around for that chest over there. Crab. Okay, so he's vulnerable to that as well. Attacking twice with this. Break your shield. Have a chance to actually do an enemy attack. Uh, I know you. I don't think you're vulnerable to any wind and ma magic attacks. But I'm gonna do the trade wings. There you go. Just because it's a magic skill. Hiding shell, very interesting move right there. I'm gonna do the same thing, break your shell, your guard. And this time I'm actually just gonna do a regular attack. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep breaking the shell, attacking once, uh, repeat and re you know rinse and repeat basically. There we go. Right, level seven already. That's good for me. I wonder how many uh, JPs I'm gonna need to get the next skill. Um, I should probably check that out. So skills, learn skills. Okay, so I need a hundred more and. Uh, which one was the one I wanted to get? I was very interested in one of these. I can't remember which one it is. I got the trade, trade tempest, you know, and then cost uh, three SP. That one BP to an ally. Success. Uh, got a single physical tag with a one hundred percent success rate. Uh, hired help, pay money. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go north, and we'll figure that out once we actually get a hundred. Uh, JP. So, let's see. Sarah looks very nice. I, I want to go down there, but I don't know. Oh, there you go, there you go. Go down here and get the chest. See what kind of items we can find. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. 
Actually, I'm just going to attack once, that way I can just do a final blow. With like a bunch of stats. There you go. Okay. There we go. She'll be broken, and now... I get to do this. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. It's quicker. Okay, cool. Now... Let's get that chest and see what we can find in here. Uh, healing grape. Alright, cool, that's good. I'm gonna need those in the future for the future. Uh, I, it's not a bad thing to save once in a while, so I'm going to save it any time I get the chance to save. Because I don't know if there's any events in the area or not. So let's do that. It's getting nice and green now though. From the coast to the green area. Another one of these little guys right here. Attack regular. And then I'm going to attack again regular. There we go. And now I'm just gonna destroy this guy. There we go. You got more than you bargained for. That's right. Alright. Let's move on for the I just love the the graphics. Like it, it has that nice old touch to it, but it's 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 modernish sometimes. <laughs> I try to explain. Atlas Dim. Uh, oh, here it is. Atlas Dim. So, spotted behind by an unfortunate soul. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's a really cool thing. Okay, so I am finally in Atlas Dim. And, well, I'm almost there actually. Look at that. So, I might just find Cyrus this episode, which should be cool. If I can find him, that would be pretty cool. And, um,. Let's see how our journey will unfold. Oh, there's a chest down there. I'm gonna get that too. I'm gonna get any chest I can. Oh, no enemies. Okay, um, they look exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do the tr trade tempest to see if they're affected by these or not. No, they're not. Okay, it's most likely fire maybe. I don't have any fire magic, so let's do this. Let's go with the regular. I mean, there's. There's um the bow and then this. Okay, cool. So you're affected by that. And then I want to see if you're affected by arrows in that. Nope. Just spears, which is all right. I gotta keep looking at my uh, at my HP before I forget to check my HP. I don't wanna die or anything like that. Okay, I, th I think that's a little bit overkill. <laughs> uh, let's go with you. Maybe it wasn't overkill. I think I need more. Let's get to you. Oh wow, these things are strong. There you go. Okay, Jaws of Darkness. Okay, um, that's new. I'm gonna heal with a healer grape. There we go. I have, it looks like, uh, my... Okay, so... Cool, cool. So what kind of effect was that? I think I got blindness. And I can't remember what that does. What, oh, I got a Nox Root. That's new. Um, let's see what it does. What is a Noxer? Let's see. Noxer uh, component with poisonous effects. Okay, cool. So that's interesting to get. It might come in handy in the future. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, 500 money. And then I'm going to get that other chest over here. So I'm almost there to the town, which is good. Press that. Okay, so I'm gonna attack you guys just like this real quick. I wanna get to every enemy just so I can level up. So, um, if you guys don't wanna see the small battles, just let me know and then I'll just skip those. 
that way we can just move on. But I'm actually enjoying the battles. It helps me learn how to play the game at a better pace, so... There we go, get that out of the way. Okay. Let's tag this one. I'm just attacking one by one. They're not strong enough to take me down singularly. They'll take me down together though. And they'll do more damage that way. So I'm taking them one by one. Until I get more uh, more companions, I'm going to have to strategize how I use those one character trust them. So for now, this is my technique. Take one down, enemy down, and then go for the next. Alright, so let's get this chest right here. And it looks like the towns are right there, which is awesome. In Inspiriting Plum. I'm gonna save, because like I said, I'm gonna get any chance to save. There you go. Alright, that's good. And successful indeed, alright. Oh god, at the last minute. What is that? Okay, um... I'm gonna attack you. Okay. You're not affected by that. How about... A bow. Yeah! I had a feeling it might be the bow. Okay. I, I like the idea of a character having more than one weapon. That way it leaves this really nice variety of things you can do and special techniques you can do. Uh, and that's why I really like this game, just because it has a lot of possibilities and different styles you can do. And it'll increase once we actually get a companion, which is what I'm hoping to do. So let's, let's go into this town now. At last damn, here I am, the Flatlands is what this is called. Alright, um... I already saved, but I'm gonna save in town just cause... And I don't know where I can find... Cyrus, but I think we'll just have to... Walk around and talk, you know? Maybe... There's a town over here. Palace Gate. Let's see what we'll be doing here. I think my goal for this... Oh, there he is, Cyrus! Hmm. Yes, I think I know now who stole that tome. Perhaps I should go have a little chat with him. Just to make sure we all understand one another. Okay, his name is Cyrus, he is a scholar. This is Atlas Dem, nestled in the fertile plains of the Flatlands. It is home to a royal academy where many scholars study night and day to bring a light of knowledge to the royal family and to all the realm. He passes his days in the halls of the great library, devour, de, oh, devouring tomes to his heart, content. Devouring, okay. It is in that library where he learns of a grievous death, certain that one of his fellow scholars in, is the culprit. Cyrus sits out alone to confront the man in his shadowy subterranean study. He will need wise allies in the path he has chosen. Party members, find comrades and add them to your party. Seek out your fellow travelers and they will ask you for your help. Complete chapter 1 of their story and they will join you on their on your journey. After chapter 1 you can change your party members at the tavern. Uh, take Cyrus along, travel to the other areas, and may be restricted until you complete certain tasks. Uh, yes! Uh, hear the beginning of the tale. Yes, sure, why not? I don't know anything about Cyrus. And so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. But 
There was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? <laughs> I, um, I think it was... Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, Professor. Let's see. I believe it was Hornburg? That is correct. Hornburg was ruled over by a royal family, said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlasdam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Correct you are, Your Highness. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandfort invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandfort sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Okay, so he's a professor, alright. Hello? Ah, Professor Albright. Mercedes from the Royal Library came by with a message for you. Seems today's your lucky day. You've been granted permission to enter the special archives. Splendid. Finally, I can be begin my research. So it looks like I'll be playing as the character Okay, uh, the library is just outside the palace. I best make a haste. So it looks like I'll be playing with the characters before I actually recruit them, which is a pretty cool thing. I mean, I could have skipped it and just done with it, but I think knowing the character is story is going to be quite the interesting thing just because I'll be able to know them as well as know their fighting style before I recruit them. So let's, let's learn about Cyrus. Uh, prof Professor. Professor. Oh God, Professor Albright. <laughs> oh, thanks, Heavens. You're still here. Your Highness. The truth of the matter is. But of course! Mm -hmm. After all, my role as your tutor is as important to me as any of my research. Unfortunately, I cannot spare much time. Is the question a quick one? 
Yes, Professor, it will not take long. I was just wondering about the ancient re uh, religion of Hornburg. Pray tell, what did they worship? Very astute of you. However, I fear that nearly all the texts de de uh, detailing the nature of her religion were burnt and lost when Hor Hornberg fell. I see a shame of that. The truth. I do, however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornberg were guardians of an ancient power. Mind you, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based on the fact that Okay, someone wants to get approval <laughs> over there. Let us continue the discussion another time. My apologies for keeping you, Professor. With no need for apologies. It would be my pleasure, Your Highness. That such question occurs to you is a sign of sharp and curious mind. I thank you. Your lecture on the history of the realms are most fascinating to me. Were it? For if I do not learn of our past, how can I hope to lead my people to a bright future? Indeed. A most admirable philosophy, your highness. The people of this land are truly fortunate to be led by one of such wisdom and kindness. As I am truly fortunate to have the opportunity to serve in some small way. You are far too kind, Professor Albright. I am proud to be your student. Oh dear, I'm running late. Good day. Pray, do not forget your assignment, your highness. Farewell. Of course, professor. Alright, so let us move on with our quest. <laughs> okay. Ah, Therese. Oh, hello there, Teresa. Yes. Did you have a question for me as well? Uh, I mean, no. Good day, Professor. Mm -hmm. She's a shy one, isn't she? Alright, so it looks like we're gonna move right into this. Uh, there, well, that was an interesting perspective. This is where I met, and where I met Cyrus. But first, I need to go here, right here. There you go. Hopefully it's in the small area right here. It's me. Good day, Mercedes. Cyrus Albright here to browse the special archives. <laughs> oh, Professor Albright, you're looking quite eager today. Mm -hmm. When I heard that an original copy of the Church of the Flame, a complete history, had been donated to our archives, I simply had to be the first to see it. I see. You're more on top of our collection than I am. Just sign here. With pleasure. All right. Actually, for someone known as the most brilliant mind in the Royal Academy, <laughs> when you talk about books, you're you're oh god, you're as giddy as a schoolboy. You put it that way, yes, much as a child is fascinated by a new toy. I am tit tittled by the prospect of acquiring new knowledge. God, these are some very big words here. <laughs> right, the, the expression on your face says it all. Anyway, everything seems to be in order. Enjoy your quest for knowledge, Professor. Alright, let, let me move. Many thanks, my dear. I most certainly will. Oh, the tome is nowhere to be found. 
Did someone return it to the wrong shelf? Hmm. Not here either. These archives are strictly guarded and curated. Wherever could it have gone? Professor Albright. Professor Albright, the headmaster will see you at once. Of all times, too. Oh well, might I ask you a favor? Hmm? What might that be? The truth. The tome I mentioned before seems to have gone missing. Could you locate it for me? I see. Missing, huh? I'll begin looking at once, Professor. Many thanks. Many thanks, my dear. Cyrus Albright, by your request, sir. Do enter. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tombs is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. I am fully aware of the value of those tomes, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone. But that goes against everything. Enough, Cyrus! Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. The headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone. Something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. Wait. There was one last thing. Sir? I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. Good gods. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. Wow, some Headmaster that was. <laughs> Enter. Excuse me. What's the matter? Hmm. Uh -huh. um. Okay, that was a interesting little cutscene there. I wonder what's gonna happen now. Can I help you? A moment of your time. Do you have any luck finding the tome? My apologies. I'm afraid not. Say it is not so. Well, this is most unfortunate. One might conclude that it had been stolen. Actually.
And as you know, the keys to the vault are entrusted to only a select few. Quite honestly, it would be easier to steal the crown off the king's head. Oh -ho. An impregnable vault, a disappearing tome. It would seem we have quite the mystery on our hands. And the mysteries of the world are meant to be solved. Or so the scholar in me says, would you not agree? If it had been stolen, I would say it's job for the city guard. But I can see you won't let it go until you've cracked the case, as it were. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, you could say that indeed. I ha a habit I just can't seem to break. Once a puzzle is placed before me, I simply cannot rest until I've worked out a solution. I see. Well, far be it from me to stand in your way. It must be tough being a genius. Leave it to me. Uh -huh. I'll not deny it. Worry not, the tome will be back on shelf before you can bat an eyelash. Right, thanks. Best of luck in your search. Time to do and the game is afoot. Hmm. Now, where to begin my research? I suppose I should inquire with Mercedes as to where the keys to the stores. The guard at the front would know who has been frequently ugh, frequenting the library lately, as might my fellow scholars. Then, my, mayhap, I should pay the headmaster a visit as well. Okay, so you guys. Okay, I already know this, so I got I got this beauty right here, which is scrutinize, which is my ability. Let's see now. Testimony. Of course, I've got a key to the archives, and no, I wasn't sleeping. I was resting my eyes. Is all. But <laughs> even I was. But even if I was sleeping, what would it matter? What kind of fool would bother stealing a worthless tome, anyways? Most intriguing. Sorry, I had to get some water. <clears throat> Talking quite a lot is uh drives the throat, so I thought I would uh get some water. Um do I want to go to the SSM? No, okay, so not here. It looks like I'm gonna have to go back to the library. And I guess I'll be talking to the lady then, to Mercedes, um, and see if we can get some information from her. Okay, cool. Uh, let's speak to her. So we've got. Hmm. Oh, sorry. So I'll trust you not to interrupt my research. Scrutinize. <laughs> let's see now. Testimony. The key to the archives. Oh, I haven't got that. But I'm not surprised someone stole a tome, considering what they're worth. I'm, I was gambling debt to myself, so I understand the temptation. Russell's situation. Most intriguing. Routinize. Okay. Only Handmaster Yvonne and the guards stationed outside should have a key to the library archives. Most intriguing. So only the guard and the headmaster have one. I really like that whole opening, the, the way that you go from the building to the outside. It's really interesting. It's like you zoom into the building and you still see the outside, which is a really nice factor that I think not every game has, but maybe something, some games should, you know? But then you got these places where it's like, you know, you just teleport, because it's a pretty big place. Uh, so, let's go talk to the headmaster. I think there's some shenanigans going on right now, just because before I left, I, I saw... Oh, here we go. Who's an eyes? Let's see now. You know full well I have a key to the special archive, and that I would never be so foolish as to let it fall into the wrong hands. In any event, I have had I have had no reason to pursue those tomes in quite some time. 
most intriguing. Okay, he has a key, and it, this is true, but the dust gathered. That should be all the information I need to solve the case. Who possesses the keys to the archives? Headmaster and the guard are the only ones who... Of course, it all makes sense now. There are only two keys to the archives. No, one, no belongings to the headmaster and one to the guardsmen. Whose key was used to unlock the archives? Huh. Guards, right? Okay, the headmaster's key is safely locked away in his office. Furthermore, he hasn't visited the archives today. On the other hand, the guard has been acting suspicious, suspiciously of late, even sleeping while on active duty. Oh. It would be all too easy a task to lift the key off his person. Oh, maybe he was put to sleep. That's a good uh, assumption. So he's responsible that the guard is our man. No, he could have been put to sleep. Uh, no, no he, yeah, he would have no motive. The culprit must be someone who understands the true value of the tome. So the scholar, which is to say one of my colleagues. And most likely one who has a cure to friendly gambling debt. Which means... Put it all together and our villain is... Over is Russell. Yes. Hmm. I don't know. Something's off. Something is off. I don't know what it is, but something is off. Word has it, he's been doing his research underground these days. I think it's time I did some field work of my own. Woo! Let's see what's gonna happen, guys. I'm very interested. And so I have taken it upon myself to investigate this suspicious scholar. Interesting in coming along, are you? Seems you have quite the curious streak yourself. But of course, mysteries, mysteries exist only to be solved. After all, it is of utmost importance to remember that. Ah, but there I go again. Don't let me talk your ear off, for I will be glad for your help. Let's get right to the business then. No doubt we'll find Russell in the, his laboratory down below. Cyrus has joined the party. Yes! So I have now figured out the story behind Cyrus. Um, and maybe in the future, once I'm done with uh, Tress's story, I can move on to the other characters. If you guys are interested on that. But um, any... Party member every crew, I will be doing their story, uh, just like I did with uh, Cyrus, uh, just so I can know the character before I actually uh, do anything with them. Alright, so let's move on real quick. And we're going to be going down here, of course, this is where he is. Hopefully. Oh my god, this is such a weird game. Let's go over here. There's a chest over here. Uh, let's see where we get. A healing grip. Okay, cool. I don't know if there's any monsters here. I don't think there should be any monsters. Just Oh, there's monsters. I've done my research on you. Okay, so here we got Trissa and... Oh, cool. He has a uh, study full, which... Will let us know what actual uh, powers, uh, you know, weakness there are. And this guy, of course, has weakness to fire, so I'm gonna do that. There we go, awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna use a bow on you. Cool, so now I have two members of the party, which is gonna be very helpful. So let's do fire. Okay. 
There we go, take care of it. Cool, Cyrus is such an awesome character. Just cause... And I have also, also in touch. Cyrus is level 2 though. Um, not the best, but hey, I mean, you uh, know, Tress is in level 7, so that's good. And it'll even out at some point. Uh, let's go here. Uh, Herb of Clemor. Okay, so let's keep on going. There's another chest over there. How many chests are also tempting? I want to get them all. Okay. Ready or not, here I come. That's right, here we go. Study foe, yep. Oh, he's a... Uh... Oh, he get... Oh! Okay, cool. So, every single turn, well, every single battle, it looks like I'll learn a new weakness to these enemies, which is going to be pretty cool. Alright, cool. This is awesome. The fact that he knows this is really interesting. It'll help out my battles as well. Oh, look at that. Heck yeah. And then I'm just going to use that. Ice Ball. Oh, I wasn't untouched this time. I probably should have done this. And then just, I'm going to destroy him now. There we go. He honestly looks like a vampire when he does that with the book. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, I'm going to go down here first. Do I want to go down there? Is that where I want to go? Oh, I can get the chest up here. Alright, uh, what'd I get? Uh, Inspiriting Plum. Okay, oh my god, so many enemies. Um, Study Foe. He's also the perfect two daggers. So, let's attack that right there like this. And then we're gonna use his fire ability and just max it out as much as I can. Okay. So, Cyrus has more SP than Tressa, which is good because we can use his fire ability. There we go, awesome. And then I get an extra XP if I'm untouched, which is going to be very helpful to leveling Cyrus up. Which is going to be very, very helpful. Um, Cyrus is level 3 already, which is very good. And then we have Tressa at level 8 now. Um, I don't think any of them can learn um, skills yet. I'm not sure though. Let's see if we can learn any skills. No, not yet. Oh, but Tressa can. Okay, so... Pay money to summon hired help to the battlefield. Um, I mean, there's rest restore one's own, one's own HP and SP and cure status alignment. Rest. Okay, that might be very helpful actually. Okay, you can now equip support skills for the skills menu. Uh, to select, select skill and then equip support skills. Here you can choose which support skill you want to use. Why don't you give it a try? Uh, sure. Uh, let's go to equip support skills. I have endless items. Uh, when a character with this skill uses an item, they, there is a 25% chance that the item will not be consumed. Okay, cool. So I'll have her use that and then that's actually really cool. Alright, cool. So let's go down and get the other chest. I wanna get the other chest already. I have to go down here, right? Yeah, there you go. These little hidden spots. They can't escape me. I surprised my foe indeed. Okay, so... Oh no, I didn't want to attack with you first. Um... I'm gonna do this. Oh, cool, cool. What is the logical okay, I don't know what your other, what other stuff you're affected by. What is the so I think I'm just gonna do that, and then for this, I'm gonna just attack you. Hopefully, I can take you down. No, I couldn't. Oh, you're a stronger version. Okay, so I'm gonna guess. That you're affected by ice next time. time I think that might be one of the things you're affected by. 
Okay, so let's continue on. Get that chest I was looking at. Nice golden one over here. Uh, wind attire. Okay, so I also have my um, equipment. This is gonna be helpful. Uh, body. Uh, element defense, physical defense. Um, probe. Equipped it, equipped it by him. Okay. So if I equipped it, and mental defense is gonna go up. How about, how about, um. Alice's defense is actually much better than hers. And he's a. Uh, so I don't need to worry about his, his elemental defense. So his physical defense is a completely different story. Um, leather, arm, leather armor gives a physical defense of 7. And let's see. So. If I take away the robe. And equipped it. Then I go here and I give her the robe. And I go here and give the leather armor. Okay, so that might just work. And then instead of the robe, I'll give her the wind action use. Now they have better. Better, yeah, there you go. They're better, there you go. That's much better. Alright. So I gave her the wind attire, the wind attire, just because I know she's wind magic. I don't know if it's gonna affect her wind magic, but I thought I'd give it a try. Here I go. Take this guy down as quick as I can. I'm just gonna use this, do some damage, get that the ball rolling there. And let's uh, do this again. And next turn with the Scholar, I'm gonna use a strong fireball second down. There we go. Ooh, I can't wait to have more uh, more companions. This will be such really cool. Um, Strategizing is going to happen. Okay, so let's see. Uh, ooh, chest! Yes! Oh, I thought I could walk over there. Oh, there's a chest over here, which is alright. Then I'm going to go up here. Oh, okay. Uh, what do we got? Oh, okay, cool, cool. We can take this guy down pretty easily. So I'm going to use that. There we go. And I'm going to go here, and I'm going to just use... Fire. Okay, cool. And then with Tressa, no, I'm gonna use another fire by the looks of it. Um, no, I'm gonna use the regular attack. And then with Tressa, I will do the spear attack. Take it down. There we go, alright. So this is a nice strategy, strategizing game. I like it. I really like it. It's really cool. Um, Let's talk to you, my friend. What are you? If you need anything, just say the word. Oh, I can buy stuff from this guy. Uh, I have five healing grapes, so I'm fine. And I can save here as well. Cool, now I have two. Awesome! Yes, I'm actually really excited about this. Okay, so... Before we head to that guy over there... I wanna get this. Uh, light soul stone. Oh. Oh, for the love of God. These enemies. Okay, so I don't want to waste my SP yet because we're about to do a battle by the looks of it. Or at least I'm guessing we're going to do a battle. So I actually will hold up on her attack. And attack. And then I'm going to attack again with her. This time with spears like this. And you are gonna attack with your thing here. There we go. Okay, good, good. I didn't want to waste any SP just because I know we're gonna have a battle. I don't know if it's gonna be a boss battle. It's most likely gonna be a boss battle, but we'll see and find out what's gonna happen. Okay. 
Okay, what's happening? What? Professor Albright, are you always in the ha habit of barging in into your peers' offices while they're working? Excuse me. My apologies, I would have knocked, but I didn't see a door. A moment of your time. A purpose of nothing, my mayhap you've heard a certain tome was stolen from the archives. I haven't, I haven't the faintest clue what you're talking about. Come now. Come now, Russell. Playing dumb is just going to drag this out for the both of us. So let's just cut straight to the heart of the matter. You were your thief, and I can prove it. <sighs> what, what the hell did you can? The truth is. Unfortunately for you. At pre precisely the moment you were trying to sneak back with the key, your friend, the guard, was just waking from his little slumber. Uh, huh? I... <laughs> oh. Giving up on our friends, some Nolans, are we, old chum? Mm. It was a slip of the tongue. I tell you, I know nothing about this God, God's damned book. Is that so? you say as much. And perhaps you care to accompany me to the academy to prove your innocence, of course. <sighs> damn it, damn it all to hell. It was the perfect plan. If not for your bloody meddling, I could have had it all. Battle time! Hey, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I mean, I know there's big bosses here, but God, that is one big boss. Okay, so by the looks of it, this guy is weak to daggers. But I don't have a dagger or sword, so... Um, I think the best option is to take care of those other enemies in the back. And to do that, I'm just going to take care of uh, this guy over here. Okay, cool. Uh, let's attack this crawler with, um, actually, no, let me. Water Wisp. Their Water Wisp. Okay, so I want to take care of. Whoa, that was a little bit of damage there. Okay, so I'm going to take care of the Water Wisps first. That way, I won't have to deal with three enemies at once. And I think that's a good strategy. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of want to get rid of all the wisps before we take the other guy down. Okay, so do you have any other weapons? No, the Scholar only has that. Okay, the Scholar does have magic, which is good. Uh, I'm pretty sure the fireball magic ain't going to work on them. But it might work on him, or on Russell. Oh, it's a big attack. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my god. Okay, I need to heal uh, Osiris here. Um, let's go to healing grapes. Here's Osiris. Let's try this. Okay, and then I'm gonna go and attack this one over here as well. Wait, so they're, they're weeks of fire then. How did I just notice that? There we go. He'll attack. And then I'm gonna use my... Magic, my fire damage on all of them. And... Yeah. Well, I didn't even know, notice that until now. Okay, so I'm gonna use my fire again. There we go. What to do? And I'm gonna take care of this guy over here. Oh my god, these water is are really strong actually. Russell is muttering an incantation. 
Okay, oh my god, I need to heal so badly now. Uh, I'm gonna use Healing Grape on myself there, on Russell there. And then I'm gonna use the same technique on Tressa, so she's gonna need a Healing Grape as well. Okay, this is a very tough battle. With three enemies, of course, I'm not gonna lie. This is very tough, but I think I might be able to manage. Oh my god, these are some strong enemies. I think Cyrus is some... No? Okay. Um, I'm gonna use Healing Grape on Cyrus, just cause he's about to kick the bucket there. Okay, so... I want him to use the Fireball. Okay, there we go. Fireball has been done. Oh my god, these are some strong magic attacks. What the heck? Okay, um... Shoot. I'm gonna heal. I think I'm, I'm gonna be healing. Yeah, no, uh, restore one's only HP. I'm gonna rest her. Okay, and then Fireball, I'm gonna use on them. But I'm gonna use a strong Fireball. Oh my god, those fires! Those little water whiffs are really strong. I'm gonna try to take that one down over there. There we go. That's one down. And then I'm gonna heal with a healing grape. Cyrus. I've, I've done so much healing. So Cyrus is healing. Okay, now I only have one enemy left. Well, that guy over there. Um, is the big boss. I'm gonna do him last, Russell. But, uh, let's see. So, I wanna do... Shoot, this is very... very... Does he get a... T no! Okay, well, I'm gonna heal again. <laughs> oh my god, I'm healing so much. That's right. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna attack the water wrist again. Picture of that. And then the scholar. I'm gonna use fireball. Okay. Oh my god, Cyrus. You need to heal, my friend. Oh my god, that's all you've been doing. Okay, it restores the HP and it speaks to a single. Let's try this. Okay, cool. So that does pretty good attack. Um, let's uh, just attack the water with. Okay, so I'm gonna use the fire again. Fireball. There we go. That guy's done for now. Nope, I'm going to use, so this guy, does not have any weaknesses or what? Oh, he's weak to ice, okay, cool. How about, how about bows, is he weak to ice, bows, okay, no. How about, he's muttering an incantation again, oh my god. I'm just going to use Ice Wings regularly, and then let's see if uh, her wind magic is helpful. Yes! Yes! There we go! I found the perfect duo! Alright, cool. Um, shoot. You two on this guy. Okay. You two on this guy as well. Oh my god, I'm, I need to heal. Okay, so I'm gonna heal. Mm. Let's see. Okay, so. Wow, that, that did absolutely nothing. 
Braid wins. Okay, so that might be helpful. Okay, cool. So now he's paralyzed. So now I have to figure something out for Cyrus, though, because Cyrus is very weak right now. Um... Oh. What could I do? Like, I ran out of all healing items, which sucks. But I think I'm just gonna have to wing it with a max attack ice wing on on this guy. Okay, and then the same thing goes for her. A max trade tempest. Okay, please don't attack him. Alright, cool. That means I have a chance. Um... I didn't heal, which sucks. Oh my god. This really sucks. Um, let's go with the, um... Ice Soul Stone. Okay, cool. Whoa, that is a lot of damage. That's good. Okay, so Cyrus is done for now. Do I have any, any... Huh. Let me help. Okay, so now... Oh god, there's so much stuff here, like... Okay, um... Go with ice wind as well. I think this is the best thing I can do right now. Oh, it's just stall out the battle in, in hopes that. Oh my god, okay. Okay, so I'm blind? I can't tell. Oh, I can't use any skills. That sucks. <laughs> uh, what does Trissa have? Uh, from blindness, from confusion, from terror. Is it blindness, right? No. What is it then? What is it? What is it that I have? It's not blindness. Mm. Oh wait. Oh shoot! I can't do that. Um. I think I'm just gonna have to attack. There we go. Just attack. Muttering another incantation. Ice wind. Go attack this guy. I have no more. Please. Let's try this. Okay. Oh, for the love of God, this guy's... Okay, uh, Olive of Life. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, at least they're all in full health now. Well, the fire, oh my God, this guy is like... Insane. Oh, we beat him! Oh my god! Not bad. Finally! That was not an easy task. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Cyrus is level 5 now. So items obtained Refreshing Jam and Ice Soul Stone, which is awesome because I have to use one in this battle. I swear I never meant to. I just needed the money. Just so. That tone would fetch a small fortune. This is true. And yet, you did, did you not for a moment consider the consequences? Say it is not In so. stealing that tome, you would steal for our students something more valuable than all the realm's riches. Knowledge? A grave crime, no matter who would per 
perpetrating it, but all the more unforgivable when committed by one who calls himself a scholar. Thank you. Well, Alby, you actually did crack the case of the stolen book. That I didn't, yet I fear this may not be the only volume our friends had her loans. <laughs> Russell had already com confessed to the full extent of his crimes and revealed the names of his business associates. We need only track down the books and purchase them back. I'll speak to the guards and see that we read double security of the archives. What's this? It says there's another book still missing. Did, did that scoundrel of a scholar steal this one as well? Actually, ah, from the far reaches of hell. No, I can assure, assure you that he did not. It's been missing for some 15 years now. Russell's aggressive borrowing only extends some two years back. I see, so this volume was lost or stolen long before that. Yes. Right, as always, Professor. Pray tell me more about that from from the far reaches of hell. According to our records, it would seem to be a compendium of ancient rites and long lost magics. Actually If I am not mistaken, it was the was the single oldest volume housed within our archives. Needless to say, it was a tremendous loss. Oh, yeah, another mystery, it would seem. Professor Albright, the headmaster would speak with you at once. Again? What could it be this time? Oh no, it seems a little bit off. Perhaps he plans to commend you for your role in apprehending the library thief. <laughs> That's right. I have no interest in the accolades, but if he insists. Okay, what's gonna happen now? Oh my god, I'm actually kinda nervous about it. Uh, spotted 280 left behind for an unfortunate soul. Speaking with the Royal Academy Headmaster. I, I like how she just finds gold from unfortunate souls. That's actually really funny. <laughs> Alright, so let's go and check out the Headmaster. I wonder what happens, or what's going to happen. I'm very curious, and uh, just like I don't know. I've brought Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Good, enter. Oh God. Thank you, Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Something tells me he's not about to offer a comment. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. A report, sir? Oh, God. An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. Oh. And you believe this report, sir? If it is untrue, then say so. Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, Balderdash of the highest order! I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to spread quickly. If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sunk. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Surely you understand. 
And so what do you intend to do with me, sir? It is not an easy decision to make. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing fieldwork in a distant land. What say you, Cyrus? This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own will remain intact. My reputation? Do we have a problem, Professor? Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey in search of an ancient tome that disappeared 50 Ooh, here we go all right looks like we're finding a tome as well not permitted to share what i have learned with my peers and the public there is little point in continuing my research here sure yeah. is that so do tell professor what is it that you intend as regards a certain tome now if you will forgive me i must begin packing for my journey Good day to you, Headmaster. Hmm. An enigma as ever, that one. <laughs> Professor! Oh, Therese. What is it? I... I heard that you were leaving the academy. That was quick. Then you heard true. P Professor, I'm... I see. So you were the source of the rumor. You... you knew... Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible... You're always helping Her Highness, answering her every question. I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. And that's why you went to the headmaster. Y yes, but I, I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. I didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? Worry not, my dear. It just so happens that I was looking for a good ex. You were? For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. Besides, I am not entirely without fault in... Indeed, I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. Professor, whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. I studies. I have 
always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet, her highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was... In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and the others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. Yes, if only I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are. Professor, perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. Yes? <sighs> Never mind. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's, that, that's, that's a funny, that's a funny tell there. We, we all know what she's talking about, but he, he's talking about his studies. Yes, Professor, will, will I ever see you again? I do not see why not, provided we both still live. Alright. And so... The journey starts. <laughs> With uh, Tressa and <laughs> Brown's name for a second, and so the journey starts with Tressa and Cyrus. Um, I think this is a very interesting uh, episode here, and I, I know there's a green spot there, you know, that I can go up to, but um, I think I'm gonna save that for next episode, and yeah, so. Right here makes it a nice little shot. So, uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching today's episode of Octopath Travelers, and um, I actually enjoyed it. It was quite a long episode, but uh, these are all going to be long episodes for Octopath Traveler. It's a very long game, so I want to put at least an hour episode for these. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed the game and playing it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of any video I make, you know, be it Minecraft or Octopath. So I'll see you guys there. Bye!